We have a 1,320,952 Robux that we're going to be using today to create a 100% invisible avatar. And guys, I'm not even joking. We are going to be creating an invisible Roblox avatar. Never before done. I mean, maybe it has, but we're going to be creating our own invisible avatar. We're going to be using a few different things to make this possible. I was testing it earlier and it's going to be pretty sweet. So if you guys are ready for this, for the invisible avatar, make sure to drop a like on the video right now. Let's aim for one like. That would be amazing. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe it down below. I believe we're only like 4,000 away from 100,000 subscribers. So if you guys could help me out and subscribe, I would just really appreciate that. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and start this account. So first off, on our list, we need to make the smallest package we can possible. So we're going to go to preset costumes and which package are we going to use? There's there's quite a bit of different ones, quite a bit of different ones. It really doesn't matter too much which one we use, uh, but we want something very slim, very small. And uh, I mean, Skelly is small, but it's not going to work for what we needed today. We need something we can actually apply shirts on and pants on because that's how we're going to make the invisible avatar. You guys are probably still wondering, but don't worry. I'm going to get into that very, very soon. But you know what? Let's start off with the Roblox boy package year and uh, that should look very very nice now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do a little bit of scaling a little bit of glitching to make sure we make this an invisible avatar so we're gonna go ahead and go to height we're gonna put that down we're gonna put the width down put the head down just make this avatar as small as possible that's what we're gonna have to do today next up on our list which is going to be one of the um, major, major steps here is put on the headless head. Now, this is going to be the most expensive item that we're putting on today. I mean, it's only it's over like 31,000 Robux, and I went ahead and bought it. it it's, it's pretty expensive. It's a pretty expensive item here. So, it is 31,000 Robux, and look at that, guys. Now, now, it's not even invisible. It's not even invisible yet, guys. It's not invisible whatsoever yet, but that is okay because we are going to get into that. We got to apply a certain shirt certain pants that are not even in the catalog but i'm going to show you guys here very very soon so i want to get some slim arms as well i think what i'm going to do is possibly use maybe the skelly left arm and the right skelly arm that will help a bit you know what let's go ahead and do that let's do the skelly left arm here let's go to right arm let's apply the skelly right arm and that should look pretty good just to hide sort of the the arms here a little bit now i know it's not showing both of the arms you guys know how the catalog is it just absolutely glitches all the time but there we go all right so now that we have that we got to do some customizing around guys i don't know if you guys know this but this is gonna be insane so let me go ahead and explain how we're gonna make this avatar 100 percent invisible it's gonna be absolutely amazing all right guys so i'm in photoshop right now and we're gonna have to make our own shirt to make this possible now this is gonna be really really cool so i hope you guys are ready for this so guys we have our avatar right here i took a screenshot and we have the shirt template that we're also going to be using i'm going to put the opacity down a little bit so we can see through it um this will make sense a little bit later but we'll keep it up for now i'll show you guys what i mean here in a little bit but what we need to do is we need to remove our avatar from this background all right we need the background to be absolutely clear and absolutely blank so i know a little bit of magic here guys i know a little bit of magic when i press the enter key it's going to be gone that r6 r15 is going to be gone look at this boom it is gone it's literally magic guys and i'm gonna do the same with the 3d here boom it's gone i know i know it's absolutely insane but now what we got to do is we got to go around and select this avatar as best as we can we have to select around it to make sure that we can make this background just completely free completely visible of the background and nothing in sight so that's what i'm talking about we need this avatar absolutely perfect so i'm just you know trying to take my time a little bit here i'm going a bit faster than usual but i want to make sure that we get this absolutely perfect so we get an invisible avatar so let me go ahead and go here let me go around and let me go all the way to the ground okay all right let's go here let's go here and okay that might be a little bit off but that is okay i can go back and customize that a little bit here soon all right and boom so i think we need to select a little bit more around here so now that we have that all selected you guys can see the little select marks here i'm gonna do some of my magic again guys i'm gonna press the enter key when i press the enter key on three two one go you better drop the like button for this invisible avatar but here we go in three two 
one enter and boom it is gone guys look at that it's completely gone that is what i'm talking about and i think what we're gonna do actually is just zoom in slightly because i saw a little bit of a a border there on the left side and this is looking good so now what we need to do is we need to basically uh we need to you know what what if we do this all right so that is where the select mark is i'm gonna go ahead and do this and then so we can remember this all right so we can go step forward here we can go back and we can remember where everything is that is very very important okay so you know what i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that we're gonna go back here and we're gonna paste basically this over to here now you're probably wondering why we're doing this but don't worry guys it's about to be crazy all right so we have this background that we just made here now i'm going to put the opacity down on the background and what we're going to do is we're going to align this so we kind of got to make this into two separate parts so what i should actually do here um is basically get this so this is the shirt portion of this so what i'm going to do is straight up just select it around here we're going to make an educated guess as the teachers like to say and say this is around the shirt area so i'm going to hide the background that we just used i'm going to put this and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of align this to make sure we get this absolutely perfect here okay so i'm going to make it kind of bigger we're going to make it kind of bigger here uh maybe stretch it a little bit that should look pretty good and kind of align it here center it out and that looks pretty good i'm liking that a lot maybe over to this side a bit more we'll stretch that out just a little bit just to make sure all right and yeah that's looking very very good much better and now what we're going to do is we're going to select the pants portion of it. So let's go ahead and see the pants. So it's around here or so. So we're going to go here and select down. That should be around where the pants portion is. And uh, we're going to put it there as well. But as you guys know, this is the shirt template. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just copy and paste this here. Because th these parts of the shirt don't really matter uh, that much. So now that we have that... We can go ahead and hide this and we're gonna save this and make this a shirt all right so we went ahead and made it a shirt guys so now that we have made it a shirt we're gonna go ahead and delete these shirt layers here so what we're gonna do now is make the pants now i don't know if you guys know this but the pants option or the pants you know kind of creation here is pretty much the same as um the shirt all right it's pretty much the same as the shirt template so you really just need um the same template honestly but so what we're gonna do since the pants aren't as detailed as the shirt like as you can see here if we put this down it's pretty much the same texture all around what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much stretch it all over the screen we're gonna so we're gonna stretch it right here this should be good all right it doesn't have to be perfect again guys uh because we're just kind of uh you know just kind of putting it in the ball we're kind of ballparking it here all right and then we're gonna put it over here and this should be good all right this honestly should make the pants that we need for this avatar um right here so i'm gonna go ahead and go save as and i'm gonna save it as uh invisible pants you guys can't see it but i'm saving it right now and that should be good guys that should be good right there so we're gonna switch back to um roblox here so you guys are gonna see roblox here in a second uh right here there we go we're back on roblox now what i have to do is go create this a shirt and pants i'll be right back because it has to process and everything all right guys so i went ahead and made them and uploaded them to roblox but now what we got to do is we got to wait for them to load it usually takes around 10 15 minutes so i'm gonna cut to when it finally processes and we can put this on our account no way it actually processed that fast no way all right the shirt's already processed we just have to wait on the pants now all right so they have actually processed now and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them on but before we do that we got to do a little bit of customizing guys all right i went back and changed the package up a little bit because i felt like it didn't kind of fit with what we were gonna go for so i put it to cool kid make awesome torso and arms because i just thought that looked a little bit better but what i want to actually go here is put on the levitation animation so I think this will help with hiding some of the things that are going to be a little bit more visible here. So I'm going to go to levitation animation. I'm going to put that on. And that should look actually pretty good. That should look pretty nice. Yeah. All right. It puts the legs a little bit back. So now what we're going to do is we are going to put on the shirt and the pants. So this is the big moment. All right. So the whole point of this is to make an invisible avatar here. And I think this is going to look very, very nice. So let's go ahead and put on the shirt, put on the pants and let's see how this looks. Oh 
Oh my goodness, I I'm too scared to look. I'm too scared to look. I zoomed in all the way, but we're gonna do it, and boom! Look at that! I think we can change the skin tone slightly to maybe something just slightly darker, maybe? Maybe that'll look slightly better. Actually, I kind of like that. I think that's pretty good. But guys, it looks pretty trippy. Honestly, if you ask me, it looks super, super trippy because it, it just blends in with the background there. And it just overall looks kind of cool. I mean, if you go to your profile and stuff and look at the avatar, you'll absolutely see nothing here. And uh, yeah, if you go in the avatar editor, it's invisible right here. So guys, if you enjoyed this, drop a like and subscribe. And if you guys are new to the channel, you know what I mean? Subscribe, even though I already said that. Let me know how I did. Uh, it's not perfectly invisible, but I tried my best. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know another challenge I can do down in the comments. So have a nice day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.